Alright, when you cut the tenderloin down? Take one. Action. <laughs> Alright, when you cut the tenderloin down? Yeah. Feel that bone right here? Yeah. All you do is you come right past this bone. All this is going to be the hind quarter meat. This little strip is all your tenderloin. So you get right underneath that bone. Cut it right out here. Don't cut out into the stomach. Especially if you ain't gutted it. And when you come over, you get right there, you'll feel the spinal cord. And you can stop right there. And all you can do is kind of send in and rotate that knife down. And you're going to cut right and stay as close to that spinal cord as you possibly can. And just chop it down. And you go run. That way you get every last bit of meat off of it. And you peel it open. Meat look good, don't it? Yeah. Yep. And you just cut right down that spinal cord all the way. And then when you come in, you go trim a little bit at a time. See how it's just eating yep. right at that bone in the back? Yep. You go eat right at that. A lot of times you'll come in, you almost take your knife at a circle. And just grind them on down. And then come back out and fillet that stuff out. And you come right back up here. Chop it. And that's how you get your fucking tin wall out right there. And then you'll come out and see that's a bone right here. Bone right here. All you gotta do is glide. And all you gotta do is hit it, put a little tension on your hand. Cut that fat. And just roll it all the way down. How you get out all that blood out of there? Uh, what, what we're going to do is we're going to put it in a cooler. And I'm going to fill it up with water and then ice. And what that does is you can do that and you can let it sit for about two days. And what it'll do is as soon as you fill it up, yeah. you'll let it go through the night. And then tomorrow when you get home, dump all the water and stuff out. And then fill it halfway up with water again. And then put a little more ice on it. And go for one more day, and then after that, you go take it out and you go package all your meat up. Yeah. This one, of course, because of your shot, is not going to come out full. The tenderloin is going to come all the way down here. But I'm not going to take all the... Yeah. I mean, you just like to tenderize your meat right out the gate, apparently. Yeah, I, I blasted them. I blasted them right in the back right there. Yeah. Yeah. Look yeah, at that. True. I did that. Ate that up. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's a exit one right there. No, 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 no. That's the extra one was on this side. Oh, here on this side. This, this the extra bullet hole right there. That's still a good shot. A lot of people like shoot them in the spinal cord because it breaks them down right away. All right, let me fillet this stuff. It's all chopped. I'm gonna get this out, even though it don't look good. This meat is phenomenal. This is like going to a a steakhouse and ordering a fillet. Alright, and all you gonna do put this on uh, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, look, see how I didn't cut into this? Yep. All you gonna do is take your knife, trim that fat back, and dip your knife down inside of it. Just like yay. And then you can take chop it, chop it, chop it. And see I'm slithering just against the bone. Give it a little tension. It comes out. All the way to the tip of the tenderloin. Yeah. See, so you got two nice fucking pieces right there. Then you can do the same thing on this side. Grab, feel that bone right there. And I'll Let me you. try it. Go for it. Yeah. All right, camera. Lights out. <laughs>